Okay, good morning. Good morning, class. Uh, I don't know the time you'll be listening to listening to this or watching this. I'll try and make it as fast as possible and also as short as possible, so that we all get to understand. So we know we log in with our username and password, CTA, then CTA. So we've already gone through the we've already gone through everything. Just that we had like a glitch along the line. Now we need to know uh, the pseudo privileges that we can run. Having this using sudo hyphen l, that is the parameter we are using. It's discovered that if we run this particular store, that's this school.py is a Python file. If we run it, it's not going to request for password, or even if it requests for password, the password we can use can be the same password as um, that of CTF. Now let's check what is in that um, cool.py. Let's let's first of all run the Python program, Python 3, um, and cool.py. We have to put the directory there. Not bad. Now, observing it closely, you discover that it's prompting us to ask to write our name. So I put my name the in there. And you can see we have this design. Now let's check out what is in that school dot spy. Let's cut it. We just want to see what's there. So we cut. You can see from here from all indications we can you can see that it's it's import this thing is importing five figlets it's importing this five figlets so this is what we are basically going to use to escalate the privilege you know you know the name of this challenge is escalate and it's just about you being a root you being a, you being a normal user you want to elevate your privileges to being a root user like an admin so we are going to exploit this library that is that is, doing, that is um that is being brought in here so what do we do in what, what we are going to do now is we are going to create a python file name it as this so that instead of it to import this normally we are going, it's going to import our own file that we have created you get so <clears throat> basically we write the python file if we import the python file then it will now um it will now use our own python file so we just like those things we be treated in web application security uh, wherever you are injecting strings we are inject, injecting scripts similar to this so now let's write our this thing let's have us know where we are building we are in home slash ctf so it's in this home slash ctf that i want to write that our python file so i know remember it's pi figlet so we are going to name it pi figlet so it's to confuse this python with this cool dot spy that if it wants to import pi figlet it's going to import our own so we write py dot py is a Python module. The mistake we made earlier on was that we didn't we didn't name it. We didn't I forgot to to name it to be a Python file. I just named it like a normal um document. So we press enter. Now upon pressing enter, what do we have? So let's just write our command or like our Python. Uh, but like I told you guys, it's not it's not it's not necessary you cram this. The website you get script for escalate, escalating privileges to so bin slash m then python three. So we import OS then we OS dot system open your bracket write the directory bin slash bash so having written something like this then we press um like we are done control x you want to y for yes then enter then we've saved it now we can see that we've saved it ls as in la you see that is there pi figlet dot pi now our responsibility is to like let's convert it to an executive file she mod plus x then pi figlets dot pi so like that now let's now see the results you can see we've converted it to an executive file now the next thing to do is let's check out because i think we did this before you can see so the moment we run this the moment we run this it's not going to like it's to prompt us for password but then we can always use that CTA as password and it's going to work at the same time so let's um um run this so we can say sudo 
Python parts. What this thing basically does is to like tell 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 this thing where it's meant to bring is meant to get the directory from that's this python part where it's going to reach that stuff that is important so the next thing is let's just copy this copy then we proceed to paste it here paste then we run it you can see automatically it has converted instead of from ctf at is now root at remember when i was teaching that stuff i said when you have this dollar sign you are like a normal user when you have this hash sign you're like a rich user so it has already turned to rich user now let's see who am i who am i you see it's already roots now that's not still the flag right that's not the flag so we have to look for the flag now so let's go back let's go to we'll go to root user let's just go back to cd so where are we we are in home. Let's type in here. It's not yet. So CD. So let's go back again. Good. Now look at these roots. Let's go to roots and see what is inside. CD roots. Let's type in here. You can see this flag.txt. So we can cut this file. And you see, this is our answer. Thank you very much.